day one, phase one. And I know many of you, when you start undertaking a swing change, are probably like, what am I doing? It's kind of the same thing I'm thinking right now. What in the hell did I get myself into? <laughs> Put on a nice stretching exhibition. And so you can't see them all, but I've got a stack of 10 right here. I've got, uh, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. So I've got 10 stacks. So I've got 100 shots. Uh, I'm probably going to need a Tylenol, probably a vat of scotch after this. But my goal is, one, to not hurt anybody. There's people out here, so I'm a little bit nervous. Two is to start getting my checkpoints down. As you know, with phase one, right foot rolled in or trail foot rolled in. We want the chest square, the head down, the hips open, and flat lead wrist. This is the first time I'm hitting a ball in a long time, or at least since that lesson I told you about in my introduction. And I'll let you know, just to be all fairness, I did hit one shot before this just to get the camera set up, but you are seeing day one, ball one in action. I may get two out of these 100 correct, I might get 80 out of the 100 correct, but all I know is we're gonna start to work on it. We're gonna get this thing fixed. I hope you enjoy. I'm gonna try to voice as much as I can. It's a little bit windy. I'm gonna keep it face on just because of the sun. Um, and I might go back to the camera a few times just to make sure it's still uh, rolling, but I'll, I'll switch up angles and all that when I get a little bit better sun angle. But like most of you, I did this after work today. So we gotta work with what we got. All right, funny story. So I had my clubs regripped because I haven't had my grips changed in 10 years. The person regripping the clubs actually laughed. <laughs> oh, all right, phase one. So what we should be doing is focusing on that impact position. So I'm gonna make a couple practice swings just to make sure I know what I'm doing. So we're gonna keep it nice and short, little pressure shift, I'm trying to hit my checkpoints. So I got my hips open, my chest square, my head down, my trail foot rolled in. And the big one is maintaining that flat lead wrist. Not going for distance right now. I got a little target out here so I can kind of see how far I'm going and I can see the consistency and dispersion. So let's see what we got. <clears throat> All right, solid strike. How to do on my checkpoints. Right foot's rolled in, hips look open, chest looks good, flat lead wrist. Ball, I'd say it's about a foot and a half off my target to the right. So I will take that one as a win. And I don't know which pile I got that ball from, so I've already messed up. So I think I'm just gonna start right here. The old trusty seven iron. Ooh, that was a good one. How'd I do? Checkpoints, all right. Some of these I may not mention the checkpoints. If I know I nailed them, I'm just gonna leave them be just for repetitiveness. Ooh, that's a Titleist. I need to put that in the bag. Pay for this whole fiasco. All right. And apologies about the down the line. I just know it's gonna be blinding with the sun. And a cool fun fact that you may not know at home, I wanted to keep this as real as possible. So I'm doing all this on my phone. Uh, so no excuses, my phone's three years old. Everybody always tells me like, oh, I don't have anything to do my swing with or how to mount it or anything. I got a mount, this one was $7.99 I think, off uh, Amazon and I'm using a three-year-old cell phone. The only fancy thing I have is a live mic connected to it. Make a couple little practice swings. Feel that pressure shift. Get those hips open, quiet shoulders, back, through. Ooh, that was nice. We want more of those. If only this was the required steps to get my game back in shape. But I can tell you what, I can already feel this hip is already tight. If I try to make any faster a swing, I'd be in trouble. All 
All right, a little bit long for my liking. I'm gonna keep this nice and tidy because the focus is on getting this impact position. I really don't care about the distance and all that right now. It's that impact position, it's my dispersion. 10, 15 yards, seven iron, nothing crazy. Get set up, make sure I got some good fundamentals. I get my axis tilt, weights balanced, rotate, pressure shift. There we go, nice and solid. Oh, I think this might be beginner's luck. And I'll check my phone during this. But remember, you always need to be checking your checkpoints just visually, camera, mirror, anything that can give you some feedback. You're not going to improve if you can't see what you're doing. <clears throat> Oh, there's my first one. That was the fatter. All right, can anybody tell at home what I did? Why did I hit that fat? Why did I hit that fat? Any idea? I know, I felt it. If you don't know, plug it in the AI. Faults and fixes will direct you to the right videos for typical shots for reasons for fat. On my end on that one, it was a little bit of trail hand push. I could feel as I started to work from here, I kind of stalled out a little bit. I should have kept my body going, should have kept my lead arm going. I could feel right here. Just kind of pushed my trail hand too much too soon, steepened it, leading edge dug, hit my fat shot. So let's get back reset. Oh, life is good. Beautiful day today, beautiful day. Nice little mild breeze. They got the ladybug invitational going on. So I was lucky to get out here. Let's see. Uh, it was so close. It was so close. I hit my pattern. I could feel it was a little bit off the toe though. A little bit off the toe. We're supposed to do this with the seven iron, but I can tell you back in the day, the, the eight iron was my jam. Seven iron really wasn't my jam. It's kind of everybody else's, but the eight iron was more what I like to practice with. So this, is a little bit new to me going this long a club for these shots. All right, let's see if I can round it home. Oh, there we go. There we go. Nice open hips. You can see the outer edge of my trail foot. My lead wrist is flat. Head is still down, chest still good. We'll take that one. Let's bottle that baby up. Let's bottle that one up. I make a couple practice swings. I want to repeat that same feeling. That was a really good feeling. I want to repeat that. Really get that ingrained. <clears throat> there we go. That's more what I'm looking for. That's more what I'm looking for. I could really feel the legs working on that one. Arms and hands are just really quiet, just following the body motion. I can feel that hip, everything just working into that impact. Didn't have to fight for that one. All right. <clears throat> there we go. That was good. Might have been just edging towards the toe. I'm gonna have to give myself a win on that one though. It was, that was too good. That was pretty darn solid. So during this phase right now, what I'm gonna do, and I'm gonna put it on film for you later, if I can find it. Uh, let's see. So this was, I gotta enter my shots now. Now since I'm using my phone for the video, it's gonna be kinda hard for me to use my phone. So I'm gonna use my iPad. So let's see, we got eight out of 10. Let's see, to shot tendency, if anything was fat, maybe a tiny bit off the toe, but we're gonna go with fat, cause that was, that was the bad one. Notes, first 10 ever, I survived. 
tendency is going to be a little stiff and right hand. All right, get that entered in. Let's keep this train rolling. Make sure this thing's still filming. All right, I think we're good to go. Only nine million more balls. Get me back in shape. I was actually hoping for a little bit more heat. And me being a Southern boy, I like that heat. Rotation, keep that right arm straight. With that real good hip, flat lead wrist, shoulder square feeling. <clears throat> There you go. Like that one. Good checkpoints. Let's keep this train rolling. <laughs> Tell you what, a little big on the follow through for me on that one. I'll have to take that. And one of these things about kind of getting back in the saddle, I can, you know, I can feel like, you know, things are trying to work and starting to fire. You can feel the tension and it's, it's a new feeling. Usually it's like riding a bike. Got my tilt. All right. So we're... Ah, there we go. Can't fault the distance if it was compressed. And who knows, I might need to button these up. I go back and look at it on film and be like, ah, you know what, they're gonna catch me on this. I need to be a little bit more cognizant, so I'm gonna have to find another way to kind of film my swing. And give me a little bit more feedback. For right now, I'm just gonna use my eyes, and use the ball flight. You never really wanna use ball flight to fix your golf swing. Yeah, as I've said a lot, you know, I can get any trained monkey to hit it straight. It doesn't mean he's doing exactly correct. But for these little small shots, ball's going to tell you a little bit of something. If I'm getting close, that good wrist, good hip, square shoulders, it should be okay. And some of y'all are probably wondering, you, know, you don't see a big pressure shift. I just don't have the time. Very small swings, hitting it very short. I just don't have the time to have this big, massive pressure shift. So you might see me not have a whole lot in the backswing. You might see me just stay a little bit on this side. It's perfectly okay in this round. Perfectly okay. All right, here. Oh, that was a touch heavy. What'd I do? That was a touch heavy. What'd I do? Did you guys notice at home? I felt a touch of right hand. And I felt a little late with my legs. Felt like I hung back a little bit and I tried to save it a little bit with my right hand. So on this one, we're gonna make sure, get those legs over there. You can see I got my legs activated and I wanted to release it a little bit, got excited. Don't wanna be like Icarus. Not gonna to soar too high too fast today. <clears throat> there we go. Head stayed down, chest was good. See if we can repeat that. Yeah, it was good. Nice and shallow. That was good. It's funny what you kind of hear on a golf course. So being in the business I'm in, I'm always listening. I'm always kind of hearing advice people are getting. So the Looks like the grandfather and son behind me. Giving some good advice back there. Kind of impressed. And keep that right arm out of this equation right now. A little here, 
There we go. There we go. Somebody might come by and think I've lost my mind. I'm sitting here talking to myself the whole time. But I think if anybody's attempting to change their golf swing, you gotta have, something's gotta be just a touch off. <laughs> Alright. Nope. A little bit off the bottom. Came up and out of it a little bit. Didn't really keep that nice down lead shoulder hip going. That's a little bit of a tendency that I have in my own game. Is I have a little bit of a tendency to kind of bail my lead shoulder out. And... When you bail your lead shoulder out and the shoulder starts to get high, you're gonna to start to hit a little thin. You're gonna to start to move it out there towards the toe. Uh, good video to check out, moving the fulcrum if you struggle with the shoulder kind of getting out of the shot instead of kind of staying down and end it. Working like a little pendulum. <clears throat> there we go. Much more buttoned up backswing I felt that time. Nice and in control. Don't want to get excited, not trying to hit this far. Just really trying to feel that impact. What are my goals here? Goals not to win the race today. It's the first time back. I'm sure I'm gonna be in an ice bath tonight. <laughs> There we go. See that one I could really feel me getting off that trail foot. I could really feel that rolling right there. All right. Let's get my shots entered. No. Oh. We're gonna have to do that twice. Probably shouldn't have left the iPad in the sun. Whoops. Hey, you know, like earlier, you know, nod to the gods. He is fallible. Just doesn't, just doesn't work on the, or just doesn't count for the golf swing. Counts for everything. All right. Here, we're going to get that pressure shift going. We're going to get the hips, that lead wrist out ahead. See what we got. Little toey. Boy, it was close though. Little toey though. Little toey. You'd probably see, and you may even be able to see it from face on. So tell some of these swing reviews guys, I can, and gals, I can kind of see this stuff from space at this point. And really what the matter what the camera angle is. Right now, I can feel just a little bit. I'm just wanting to, just wanting to help it out a little bit. Just wanting to help it. Don't need to do that on these small shots. Just keep it a little bit in this nine o'clock territory. Get that trail shoulder behind me. Lead wrist out ahead. Get a couple wiggles in there. All right. Better with the hip that time, foot. Didn't feel any shoulder spin, chest was good. Head staying down. Tell you what, it reminds me. So back in my college days, David Duvall was a pretty decent player. And some of you at home know that a lot of golf instruction is just kind of copying what players are doing at the time. And so during that time frame, ooh, that was good. During that time frame, uh, Duvall was kind of king. I remember a college golf coach was trying to get everybody to come through, get their head like, you're not going to finish. You got you to get your head going through. And he looked like David Duvall and Annika. 
I'll tell you what. I started doing that. You want to talk about moving the fulcrum. Remember, where the eyes go, the head goes, the chest goes. I was coming at an impact like this, and I'm like, why am I hitting it 40 yards right? Uh -huh. Maybe because you're not looking at it. And this story isn't a knock on Chuck either. <laughs> I think we all know see his head goes through, but that's he's fused. He's got a reason. There we go. You can really feel that leg working a little bit more now. I tell you what, I am starting to get a little concerned when I start using it more. I can feel it. And this is, you know, I'm gonna I'm gonna turn this way just because of the wind. This is uh, one of these things where when you're coming back from injuries, definitely as many as I've come back from, it's weird. It's a weird feeling. It doesn't feel the same as it always did. It's a weird feeling. <sighs> Come on, leg. There we go. I'm almost trying to release it. Don't want to release it yet. I don't want to keep that lead hand ahead. I'm going to keep that lead hand ahead. Focus on that impact. Worry about free speed and all that stuff later. But Craig, that's the fun stuff. That's the fun stuff. I want to, I want to hit the ball far. Sometimes you got to eat your vegetables first. Oh. Said I was gonna need a Tylenol earlier. I think I need something way stronger than that. Yeah, a little thin, a little bit off the bottom. Look at my chest. See that right there? See that chest opened up a little bit? So it raises my fulcrum position. Just gets a little thin. It's one of those old baddies I was talking about in the introduction video. Used to be a big spinner. <laughs> Stay down, head down, chest down, quiet, and use that pressure shift, use those legs. A little back, there we go. Much quieter with the chest. Lead flat wrist, foot, all right. Keep this going. Might sound like a motivational speaker now. Just wait till I have to actually start hitting the ball somewhere. Might have to put this on HBO Max just in case. There we go. Might have sounded a little thin on camera, but that was nice and shallow, right on the money. Really don't like the seven iron. You can, okay, I'll show you something funny. So you wanna see the difference? I don't know if the camera will pick it up, but you can see the difference. That's my seven iron, that's my eight iron. Concave face. <laughs> If it picked it up, if not, then I'll edit it into the video. I like these grips though. It's... You can feel, get a little bit more rotation in there. You get just a little handsy back that way. Yep, and that's why that was money. I could feel just a little bit more rotation in that one. Got a little less handsy in that. And I might look at this later and be like, you know what? You need to get a little bit more, get a little bit less. Don't practice like me. <laughs> Just don't have enough equipment right now. Have to send something in for a swing review. Rotate, shift, 
touch fat, probably because I talked to myself. Boy, was that online, though. Oh, stay focused. So what's going to be a touch fat? There's a lot of different things that cause fat. I can push with my thumb. I can push with my right hand. All sorts of things. That was 100% my right hand. That's because all, all the jibber-jabbering kind of lost my focus a little bit. All right, I would enter, but my iPad's dead, as in the heat. So I'm just still waiting for it to turn back on. Hopefully I can get on that top 30 of the leaderboard. On that bottom 30, we're gonna be in trouble. Don't think that's gonna be good for business. Hey, what? Straightest line contest. Just got to keep it going. These little guys, not fearing this too much. And you know, Chuck used to beat me a lot. And I don't mean like golf wise, I mean like physically. I had to work on this lead hand impact forever. And I was a big trail side pusher, big spinner. So I spent a lot of time getting that flat lead wrist. I'm not scared about that. It's more getting those body motions. Start adding a little bit more legs and speed to this. It's going to be a little different story. It's going to be a lesson in humility. <clears throat> oh, it was a touch fat. Boy, that was good though. Just got a little bit of push in there. A little bit of push. <laughs> oh, that was good. That was good. I thought my head almost chased just a little bit. That was good. This is one thing when Chuck and I were developing this C4. One thing that we were talking about is when, when you're a golfer, you're all out there on your own. It's just you and the golf ball. You're kind of your only friend. You can be your only friend or your only worst enemy. Most golfers get really down. I used to do the same thing. I, used to, I mean, even if it was a pure shot, I'd be like, man, you're terrible. May have used a couple other words, but. So with this series and the same thing that Chuck mentioned in the uh, first couple of videos, I'm trying to talk myself up. I know this is gonna be a challenge, All right? I know right now it may seem like this is coming a little bit easier to me. It may come across that at a camera, these little smaller shots, but I know this is gonna be a challenge. I'm making little small swings right now. I got a long way to go. But the more and more I go up, I need to stay positive. It's okay to say good things about your strike, your swing, when you do something well. Us golfers, we have the tendency, we just get down so fast. See, that was a little thin. I could feel it. You see this right here? See how I got the little shoulders just got a little lifty into it? So I know my problem, I assess the situation, and I'm gonna fix it. Why do I, I don't need to beat myself into the ground for one bad shot, but we all have the tendency to do that. For every, for every kind of note that you say to yourself, give yourself something positive. Life's hard enough, don't make this any harder. All right, so that's shoulder. Here, I need to keep that shoulder in the shot. In the shot. Touch toe. You can see, just got a little bit of shoulders going on right there. A little bit. I know some of my students, if they watch this, they crack. Spinning your shoulders. You're, 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 you're hitting it too far. Your, your club's passing three o'clock. 
You yell at me about that all the time. And you're doing it. I know. It's my first time. Come on. <clears throat> little thin. Just got a little shoulders. All right, so that's a couple in a row. Kind of falling off the horse a little bit. Let's take a stretch. It's all right. Get some air. Get some nectar over here. I hope this wind isn't too bad. I hear it. Ah. All right. I think it's okay if I leave the mic on when I get something to drink, but I'll make sure to turn it off if I go to the bathroom. Get over here. Get to that impact. Over here, get that impact. Quiet shoulders. There we go. Much better. Much better. See, sometimes you just got to take a step back for a second. Work your way through it. There, get some pressure shift, impact. There we go, there we go. Flat laid wrist, not really releasing it yet, no right hand push. Superintendent is not gonna yell at me. That's the main thing, just don't wanna piss off the super. That little fat, you can feel it and just bink. Oh. A little fat. The right hand wanted to get just a little bit too active. It's not time to take me to the pasture yet. I'm gonna fix that. I know what the problem is. Right hand gets a little active because I could just get a little lazy. Hip gets a little tired, pressure shift gets a little uh, muted. Just get my legs back going. If I rely on my legs a little bit more, get my arms to follow and react much easier. Okay. All right, good back. Nice little rehearsal there. There we go. There we go, you can, you can feel this foot's nice and light. It's off the edge, belt buckle, a lot of good stuff. All right. So, <clears throat> no excuses for you at home. If your iPad gets too hot or you don't have Wi-Fi coverage at the range, you have to write it down. Let's see, I have a pencil in there somewhere. All right. Oh, back on. Nice. All right. Uh, okay. Am I boring you yet? Oh man. So I'll probably adjust the series and all that as I go. If you want me to talk less, I'll talk less. You just want to hear, you know, you want it like a AMSR video. You just want to hear shots. Um, or if you want me to just kind of do my first set of 20 and then turn it on for the last 20, no problem. Let me know. I hope that pop came through on camera. Did you hear my shoulder pop on that one? Ah, oh, just a little scuffy. A little scuffy. 
getting a little tight. It's the first time I've practiced like this in a long time. I can feel that tension. Touch thin. Boy, it was right on line though. Right on line. But for these little guys, it to be better than that. Here, Hold those shoulders back, keep those shoulders square, lead hand ahead. Use those legs. Don't rely on those arms so much. Oh, that was good. That was good. And see, that's the same thing. I could feel the tension in my arms and feel the tension in my hands. Just needed a given a reason to not work so much. Well, Doug, Rick, get your legs going. You got them for a purpose. open, shoulder square, keep that flat lead wrist. Oh, touch heavy, touch heavy. All right, let's see, we got one, two, three, six left in this. So we can get this back cooking with Crisco. Fat means flavor. Now I'm probably gonna get sued. I've got copyright infringement problems. Uh, I think I cheated a little bit. I had the direction, I had the flight. It was pretty solid. I think I cheated. I think I cheated. Felt, I could feel like, just tuck my hands in there, just kind of put a put a little steerage in it. Felt just a little steery in there. Get that left hand back softened up. All right. There we go. There we go. Really stayed in the shot on that one. don't know if I can do that one. It wasn't bad. And close only counts in horseshoes and hand grenades. There we go. I could feel that time. 
I can just feel my hips working that little bit better. If you want to rely on your arms less, use your legs. Don't you yell at people about this all day? And sometimes it's good. Just get rid of the golf club for a second. Shake it out a little bit. Just feel it with the arm. Bam. Get that pressure shift, impact. Pressure shift, impact. Pressure shift, impact. All right, let's finish off this set with a good one. There you go. There you go. Good hip, foot. All right. I'll come back to the camera over here. Should still be recording. All right, we're on 41 minutes right now, jeez. So we'll do a little bit of an experiment on this one. I'll go ahead and finish out another 10 because I don't really know how this series is gonna go. And I don't know if some people are gonna be like, Craig, no, 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 like keep the whole thing going or like, all right, I've got my 45 minutes in. <laughs> That's about all I can take. So I'm gonna kill it at 45, finish the rest of these, plug in uh, my results and get this posted for you guys and gals. And we'll take it from there. And if you want, you know, leave a comment down below or leave me a comment on the site and say, try to keep it positive. But um, let me know, I'll, I'll, I'll probably do it on like a, a grading scale or I might even put up a, uh, what is a, what are the things called? Uh, a tally, something like a tally where you can vote. And if everybody wants the whole thing, then we'll do the whole things. If everybody's like, no, that's, that, that's the good number. We'll keep it at that one. Or like, Craig, look, after 10 minutes, I just couldn't take any more. You got to turn it off then. You're killing me. Huh? Then we'll do it that way. We'll keep this one at 45. All right. Let's get hyper-focused here. I got my target out there. I know what my goal is. Kind of get a rehearsal in here. Right foot rolled in, chest square, got my hip. Pressure's on my lead side, my head's down. I'm gonna get that flat lead wrist. Can I get that compression, that nice straight ball flight? Life is good, we can do this, we can do this. It sounded a little off the toe, but the strike was pretty good. Uh, what is it, tie goes the runner? Eh, have to give, we're gonna put the tie goes the runner on that one. Yeah, that was a total system failure. Lack of leg, shoulder, stiff hands. Put a T behind my lead ear on that one. <laughs> it was just thin, it wasn't that bad. <laughs> you give enough swing reviews, you just start talking and lead and trail, you forget about right and left. All right, let's get a good one here. There you go. Nice, got those legs going. I'm going to be hurting tomorrow. I try to tell everybody this, don't get old. It's, it's overrated, it really is. Like, don't do it. Everything just hurts more and more. And I could feel a little right hand on that, so I'm just step back. I'm gonna go over this 45 minute mark. 
I want to make sure I get some good reps in. <clears throat> there you go. Nice. I can put I can put that down as a keeper. Pressure shift. See? What do you know? I tell myself, get those legs going. And it's probably one of the best one of the day. So I reminded myself, pressure shift. I need to put that in my notes. So we got the notes section, not just positives and negatives. But well, remind yourself, if something starts clicking. My legs just get lazy. I need to remind myself, get those legs going. Use that pressure shift. Yeah, it's like the uh, um, flux capacitor. Yeah, that's what makes time travel possible. Those legs, so important, even on these little things. And that's, you know, I've, I've obviously do a lot of swing reviews. And I see this a lot where somebody's just like this. And they're like, I, I, I don't get what's going on or what, you know, why I'm not having the strike. Even on these little guys, just this little leg action, just this little leg action, that's all you need. Just a little leg action to make things happen. Let's see, got a tailor made. So I better put a good swing on this one. All right, remember pressure shift, use them legs. There you go, boy, that was a good one. There you go. I'll put that in my notes later. Craig, you, you fractured your left hip and you sit at a desk for a lot of hours a day. Your, your legs are gonna get lazy. Your hip doesn't wanna work. Your legs get lazy sitting down. Waking those things back up. Waking them back up. You gotta use them. I could feel on those last two, I could really feel that pressure shift right there. Nice. Do, do, do. I'm trying to curtail my singing. And in my intro video, I told everybody that I don't really talk this much when I practice, which I don't. I didn't say I didn't sing though. So I'm trying to curtail my singing because I usually sing to myself. Touch heavy, it was so close. I could, you can, you could almost see it. I could see when I finished. I could see like a little white in my nail, like I was offensive lineman trying to. I could see it. Just too much pressure in that right hand. It's okay though. That's all right. We're aware of the problem. Just gotta fix it. Get that shift back. There you go. Use them legs. Use them legs. Ooh, that was good. Need more like that one. It's all in them legs, baby. All in them legs. Got our key on all those legs. You know, your hip's the one that went kaplooey use it. You gotta waken it back. Got a slight breeze. Shouldn't be a problem. It's only going about 15 yards at most. 
rotation, pressure shift. There we go. That's what I want. That was like a putt, just right on that line. Make a lot of putts, you get that ball starting right on that line. All right. So before things get too crazy and this tape gets too long, uh, I'm gonna finish the rest of these and I'm gonna go back and plug in my numbers. I hope you've enjoyed this so far. Leave in the comments. Let me know if you, if you want the whole thing, I'll film the whole thing. Figure somebody's probably sick of me by now. If you want it shorter, different things you wanna see, then we'll adjust this a little bit, but I'm gonna use the site and I'm gonna use the AI to kind of determine you know, how I progress. What do I do next time? Do I stick with this? Do I go to the next level? I know I'm gonna stick with this, but if I was getting close to that number, I'm gonna let the AI kind of decide it for me. So I hope you find a little bit of enjoyment out of this. Maybe I mentioned some things that can help you out. If you want me to talk more, let's make this series for y'all, all right? Let's use this series to really help you improve. If you need me to do something or, you know, if there's a, you know, at the end of segment, you want to, you know, recap or something, or you want me to do even, you know, a webinar, you know, talking about my experience and what I'm feeling and, you know, pick like my top two or three problems and what I would do to, you know, kind of get out of them. Let me know, post it in the community, post it under the videos, post it on uh, YouTube, wherever. Site would probably be the easiest. I'm on that all day long, but hope you enjoyed this first one. I'm going to finish these sets and uh, keep this going.